Good evening and welcome to the Palace here at Coldwater High School. Tonight, WSN has a matchup of two non-conference opponents. The conference teams who are leading their own particular conferences this year. That will be the Upper Center Valley Rams leading the Northwest Central Conference and the Coldwater Cavaliers who lead the Midwest Athletic Conference along with Delta St. John's. My name is Mark Scheim. My players do play-by-play -play alongside to our color commentary, Mr. Josiah Stover. Josiah, you know, we're looking at, uh, you know, Upper Center Valley comes in at 10 and 5. They're 5 and 1 conference play. Scoring about 55 a game, giving up about 45. Good year going for them. Yeah, absolutely. You know, a team that likes to hang around the perimeter, likes to use their speed, attack the rim when they have those driving lanes, as you said, have done really well this year, leading their conference 5 and 0. You know, a team that's led by Alex Sanders and Maddox Underwood both coming in about 15 points a game. So, as you said, having a good year so far. And they are coming off a win last night over Elgin. In fact, they've won seven in a row, had the upper Soto Valley Rams in eight out of their last nine since December 23rd with a five-point loss to Elida. Let's look at uh, their starting lineup this evening. So as I mentioned, number two is Alex Sanders, 6'3 senior, averaging 14 and a half points per game and five assists, seven rebounds for him. Number three, Andrew Kendall, he's a 5'9 sophomore, averaging six a game. Number 10 is Hunter Damron, 5'9 sophomore at seven a game. 22 is Mason Thompson, 6'2 junior at five a game. And number 23 is Maddox Underwood. He is a 6'1 junior, averaging 15.6 and five rebounds for him. The Coldwater Cavaliers, Nick Fisher's team, well, they are 13-3. They're 6-0 after a double overtime win last night. Josiah over Versailles, 65-60. And obviously, they've got a great season going down here in Coldwater as well. Yeah, as you said, 6-0 in the MAC, and we know how strong this MAC conference is um, on the hardwood. As you said, you know, had a big game last night from Balin Blockberger, 37 points on the night to lead his team. Also, Luke Schwederman, uh, the 6-7. Uh, kind of mixture player, plays in the post, can shoot from outside, had 15 on the night. So, you know, 13 and 3, you know, at this time of the year, we're looking at two teams trying to get that signature win before that playoff draw. That would be the case. The Coldwater Cavaliers, Nick Fisher's team, averaged 54 a game. They give up 45. They will start number zero, Balin Blockberger, six foot junior, averaging 13 points and three rebounds. 11 is Brady Leifel. Uh, Brady's a six foot junior, averaging 5.3. 21 is Owen Kunk, 6'6", junior, averaging six points and four rebounds. 33 is Miles Potcotter, 5'11", junior at five points a game. Number 42 is Luke Schwederman, 6'7", senior at 13.4 and six rebounds. And Josiah, before we wrap up our pregame, you know, you're looking at a team in the case of Coldwater who came off a huge game last night at Versailles, double overtime on the road. You kind of wonder where they'll be at emotionally and physically this evening. Yeah, and as you said, you know, both teams, you know, really looking for those signature wins. And as you said, that tight game, especially going to double overtime, you know, might see some tired legs early. But both teams know how important this game could be tonight, especially for that tournament draw. It is Upper Seattle Valley. The Rams here to play the Coldwater Cavaliers at the Palace. We have the starting laps have been given to you already. We'll have an opening tip after this. Watch High School Basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to the Palace, Upper Soda Valley. The Rams in their black uniforms this evening. They will be headed from the right side of your screen and to the left. And the Coldwater Cavaliers in their white jerseys this evening, and they will be going from left to right on your screen. Our officials tonight, Steve Oren, Dan Cook, John Derryberry. Would you call this a veteran crew, Josiah? Absolutely. Uh, I don't know if we could actually calculate <laughs> how many years of experience, but uh, many of these guys I saw when I was in high school. So they've been around quite a few years, and uh, we they know what they're doing. Luke Schwederman heads to center court. Well, he will jump with Alex Sanders. Upper Center Valley 72-40 over Elgin last night. Coldwater 65-60 over Versailles in double overtime. Baseline jump shot goes up and rattles out. Rebound comes down to the Cavaliers, however. The battle for it with Leifeld, and it goes out of bounds off of Leifeld. Ten seconds into this one. Yeah, and that's one thing USV will have to do tonight is they really need to box out as a team. Coldwater with the size advantage. Once again, those long arms almost comes away with the steal, but USV maintains possession. Baseline against Schwederman has gotten stopped inside. And Alex Sanders couldn't get a shot off. Penetration dribble. That's stolen, though. Head the other way is Owen Kunk. And back to Kunk after they scramble around with a little bit. This is Miles Potcutter, and then Schwederman inside. Potcutter gets a three look. 
and rebound, battled for. And eventually comes into Alex Sanders' hands. And the ball seems to be bouncing around tonight. Well, early once again. Ball went off of Sanders' leg, scrambled for the ball, and it's called over and back thanks to the hustle play of Owen Kunk, and it will go to the Coldwater Cavaliers. 56 seconds into this one. Dre White's trying to get an explanation of why this occurred. Actually, we're going to get a sub in. Number 15 will enter, and that is Bo Sanders. Bo's coming off a 16-point game last night. And head to the bench was Mason Thompson. I think Mason was injured. Maybe. Yeah, it looks like the coaching blood, staff's yeah. trying to call the trainer down. She's on her way. Baseline move. Bachberger shot missed. Rebound comes in the hands of Kendall. He pushes the ball to Mason Thompson. And this is the guy who just entered, Bo Saunders. Alex Sanders wants to work inside. Shots blocked. Good size. Sanders rebounds that one, does Bo. Penetration dribble, forced it up. Then it spins out on, but we're going to get our first free throws of the game. Yeah, Alex Sanders did a great job attacking that size of Coldwater. Jumps into the contact. Is able to draw a foul, and the ball rolled around the rim, but did not go down. Luke Schwederman will pick up his first foul to the free throw line. We'll go Alex Sanders. Alex makes his first. Coming off a 19-point game last night in that win over Elgin. Second free throw coming. Bounces away. And good hustle play inside by Andrew Kendall, but it knocks it out of bounds himself, and it will be cold water, cold water basketball. They fell. Kunk looks inside. And now Blockberger coming off that monster game in, uh, not last night. To the rim, scoop shot, and that will go for Brady Layfeld. Yeah, Brady Layfeld coming off of that screen, drove hard to his right, able to make the layup, put his team on the board, up 2-1. Sanders. And Alex again. Maddox Underwood. You can see the much bigger Owen Kunk at 6-6. Underwood 6-1. Alex Sanders to the pen penetration dribble goes up. That one missed. Rebound on the backside to Pot Cotter. Yeah, we see Alex Sanders being aggressive here early, seeing if he can drive to the rim, especially against the length of Coldwater. Pass Just not able to make it. And the finish on a nice cut. Owen Kunk has a basket off a pass and cut. 4-1, Cavaliers on our Kenton Moose scoreboard. Pass inside, trying to make a move, spin move, and pass goes across to Bo Saunders. I'm not sure whether that was intended pass or not, but the result was good. Yeah, Alex Sanders made a great pass to his teammate there, drew both defenders and found his man. And Kunk posted up inside, and He's unable to finish, but he does draw a, paw, a foul on the freshman Bo Saunders. Our scoreboard today is brought to you by the Kenton Moose Family Center. The Kenton Moose is Hardin County's home for great food, fellowship, and friends. That's the Kenton Moose 428 in Kenton. Online at KentonMoose428.com. Free throw falls for Owen Kunk. That's point three for him tonight. Good to see Mason Thompson back in the basketball game with whatever that injury situation was. That free throw also is good. 6-3 Cavaliers. Comes a half-court trap, the 6-6 Kunk on top of it. It's nice to have that size, especially up top, making it difficult, and there's the turnover yep. for the Cavaliers. Here goes Sweeterman to the rim, pass to Kunk, and there you go. Six points for Kunk off that very effective half-court trap. 8-3, Cavaliers. Yeah, Owen Kunk had six points last night against Versailles. Already six points tonight. 
Sanders trying to get loose against Kunk, and he goes to the glass and scores. Three points for him now. He's been attacking the rim. Yeah, even, you know, a lot shorter than the defender, but being aggressive, attacking. And an open shot now for number 11, Brady Leffel. Shot and miss. Blockberger tried to track it down in the corner and was unsuccessful. That will bring our first Cavalier sub into the game. That will be number 44, Will Barry, a 6'4 junior. He takes Kunk's place, springing size off the bench. And it's nice to have those options. You put 6'6 six, six on the bench and 6'4 comes in. So not losing a whole lot of that length for this Cavaliers team. Sanders again. Coming off the screen is Maddox Underwood. Pull up jumper. Rattles out. Strong rebound by Barry who just entered. Blockberger hesitate and go. Off glass, no. Rebound put back up and that will fall for Brady Mayfeld. Layfeld and Kunk have all the points for the Cavaliers here early on. Five minutes into this opening quarter. Bo Saunders. Here's a three that goes up. Rebound, Schwederman. Blockberger to the rim. Kick out. This will be a three by Potcotter. Play. Miles Potcotter has 17 on the, of those on the season at 13-5. Cavaliers. Yeah, we saw Blockberger there draw the defense, find his open teammate, and Potcutter knocks down the three. Sanders was headed to the rim and lost it out of bounds. This will bring sub in uh, number 20. That would be Caleb Schreyer. Also into the game will be Andrew Kendall will come back in for the Rams. And we talked about it, Josiah, the Rams just play six, don't they? Yeah, Dre White doesn't like to play a whole lot off the bench. So, you know, they've got to maintain, you know, control, not fouling a whole lot. Schwederman for three. And that will cause a Dre White timeout. 2.23 to go in the opening quarter. The Cavs up 65. You watch high school basketball, WOSN. We're back to Palace here at Coldwater. You can stream the WSN channel anytime, anywhere for only $8 per month. Download from Roku or Apple TV or sign up at app.wsn.tv. Ray White needed a timeout, Josiah. Yeah, Coldwater two back-to-back -back threes on their possessions, extending this lead now to 11. Wanted to kind of calm his guys down, try to get a good set here. Don't want to let the game get away from too quickly. Cavaliers stay man-to-man. -man. This three is going to go up from Kendall, and he's got a basket. Got 22 of those on the season, does Andrew Kendall. Yeah, and a good response out yes, of that timeout. Big shot there by Kendall to now cut this lead down to eight. Blockberger. Got it in 23, Cody Depwick, who came in at the timeout. Blockberger for three, short. And in the battle for a rebound, I think we're going to get a foul that will go against Will Berry. Will's first, team second. And USV did a good job there. Two guys boxing out Barry, maintaining possession. Now USV has a chance to cut back into this lead and a long pass tipped out of bounds. Well, they went back to that uh, half court trap, this time with Barry on top of it, 6'4". Yeah, and with that trap, they want them to throw those long passes for Coldwater, use that length and that athletic ability to go get it. Passes tipped away by Barry inside. Bockberger tried to bounce it through traffic, couldn't get there. He will go the other way, and we will get a foul. Maddox Underwood was trying to break through a double team and got contact that came from Brady Liefeld. Schriedemann comes back into the game. Bockberger's turn to take a break. 90 seconds to go. Opening quarter here from the Palace. Back man to man. Bo Sanders. Thompson comes off a screen. 
is Kendler, who made the three a moment ago. Jumper out of the corner is long. Kendall tips the re rebound to a teammate. And he gets the return pass to the top of the circle, and they reset with the ball in Maddox Underwood's hands. Now we see Bo Sanders made a bucket, had some offensive rebounds coming off the bench tonight, so he's done some really good hustle plays for this USV Rams team. Kendall gets a three look. That's blocked, however. Ends up being blocked out of bounds by the 6'2", Cody Depwig. It's good size all around for Coldwater. And Coldwater likes to play nine or ten guys, so we'll see quite a few guys coming off the bench for Coach Fisher. And especially after that double overtime game, one would think he'll try to keep fresh bodies in the basketball game. Pass a little high. Layfield goes the other way, bounce pass crossed, and missed. The rebound comes to Barry, and Barry scores. Will Barry on the follow-up. It's a ten-point lead. And Will Barry following that play, hustling down the floor, gets the offensive rebound and puts it right back up. Pass inside, Bo Saunders looks. Alex gonna get a look at, going to the rim, and his shot goes up and goes, does it count? It was at the buzzer, does it count? And it looks like the official is going to count it. That is correct. Alex Sanders has five, looking at six. This foul also is on Luke Schwedeman, which becomes his second. And Alex Sanders to the free throw line, he makes that. He's got six in the opening quarter. Good finish to the quarter by the Rams. We go to quarter number two. You're watching High School Basketball, WOSN. Back at the Palace, three-point play by Alex Sanders at the buzzer. It makes it 18-11 on our scoreboard. Tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by the Kenton Moose Family Center. The Kenton Moose is Hardin County's home for great food, fellowship, and friends. That's the Kenton Moose 428 in Kenton. Online at kentonmoose428.com. It was 16-5, Josiah, and they got it to 7, did the Rams. Yeah, we've seen Alex Sanders be really aggressive in that first quarter, driving against the length of Coldwater. As you said, a big three-point play there at the buzzer to cut this lead now down to seven. So we'll see what adjustments the coaches talked about coming out of this first quarter. Well, here's the other part to that, Josiah. It was foul number two on Luke Schwederman, and he will start a quarter number two here on the bench. Yeah, you know, but as you said, they have a lot of size still coming off of the bench, so Coach Fisher will rotate these guys in, not want to give Luke Schwederman another a third foul going into the second quarter. They flatten out. Back door cut. Sanders with a good pass and puts it into the hands. Uh, that's a Mason Underwood. Maddox Underwood, excuse me. That's Maddox's first basket of the game. It's a five-point game. Now we've seen that a couple times tonight. USV coming out of a timeout or a quarter, running a great set. Blockberger working inside. His left-handed shot goes. After a 37-point game last night, that's his first two points here in quarter number two. 2013 on the Kenton Moose scoreboard. Bo Saunders and Alex. Three-point, nope, had to give it up. Scramble for it, ends up into the hands of Cody Depwig. Blackburg gets a three look. And a battle for the rebound on the back side. It's Depwig, and I'm not sure which one of the Blackshirt Rams got a hold of it, but we'll stay with Coldwater. Hunter Damron comes back into the basketball game for Mason Thompson. And USV going to a 2-3 zone here out of the timeout. Looks like they're trapping in the corner. Pull up jumper. Falls for Schrader. It's back to a nine-point lead. You see Alex Sanders, every time he gets the basketball, it's attacked the rim. Here's a three that's going to go up. Battle for the rebound comes to Blockberger. 
Pass baseline, and that will lead to a power layup. Power layup, Owen Tunk. He's got eight in the game. And we're going to get another USB timeout. 6.17 to go. You watch high school basketball, WOSN. Please send us recipe chicken updates to you with all your area scores with the WSN Scores app. Download the app from Android or Apple stores or visit WOSN.tv. Well, Josiah, they had it down to seven, and then we got a kind of little run here taking place by the Coldwater Cavaliers. Yeah, we've seen Blockberger push the, the point of attack quickly, trying to get those early buckets, kind of being the distributor so far tonight. As you said, a big night last night, 37 points in that win over Versailles. But tonight, he's been aggressive, attacking the rim, then finding his teammates out on the perimeter. Here comes that uh, half-court trap with 6'6 Kunk on top of it. Makes it very difficult to reverse the basketball. That ball's tipped away from behind by Blockberger. Comes to Caleb Schreyer. Blockberger goes baseline. Reverse layup, and he will draw a foul. And we go to the free throw line. It's Bo Sanders, first foul. Blockberger shoots 69% from the free throw line. His third point of the game. JV game tonight was won by Coldwater, 47-35, as Mason Thompson comes back into the basketball game, replaces Bo Sanders with those two fouls. And Blockberger makes that one also, four for him. 13-point lead, Cavs got him doubled up. Here's the half-court trap again. Yeah, and there's that length, well, as you said. Almost got it, yeah. Came right back to the passer, Thompson, and we're going to get a foul. Number 21, Owen Kunk got the foul. Owen's first. Just the first here in quarter number two for the Cavaliers. And there's a steal. Blockberger headed to the rim. And, oh, it rolled out on him, but a good hustle play by Depwig. Missed that one, battle for the ball, and ends up into the hands of Owen Kunk. Here's Blockberger for three. Another rebound on the offensive end. That one goes up, and that one also bounces out. And finally, the rebound comes to Mason Thompson. That's some good looks, didn't go. Pass ahead, Damron. And Coldwater using that length on the offensive glass to get a couple extra possessions there, just not able to knock down the shots. Pull up three. Nope. But Sanders goes after that rebound, and as usual, he attacks the rim and scores. He's got eight here in the game. Yeah, Sanders grabs that ball and goes right to the rim. Able to get that easy layup. Now to cut the lead down to 11. And looking at a 1-3-1 for the first time. Blockberger to the corner. Pass inside Depwick. And to the other corner we go. Lob pass. Blockberger into the lane. Nope. Kick it back out. Good patience this time by the Cavalier. Here's a lob to the corner. Blockberger pull up from 15. Rebound into the corner by Kindle. I think the Rams can get under double figures. It did so at the last timeout that they used. Sanders, Alex patiently throws it to Max Underwood. The USV deciding to run some offense here. Once again, getting the ball into Alex Sanders' hands, and he goes right up. That was really good footwork as he becomes the first player in double figures in the game. Alex Sanders has 10, he averages 15 a game. And they didn't get the lead under 10. Here's the 1-3-1 one, one again. Corner three. 
Battle for the rebound, and we're going to get a held ball. Underwood went up with Barry, and this time it goes to the Cavaliers. Schwederman back into the basketball game, as well as Miles Potcotter. Both of those guys made a three in the opening quarter. 3.36 to go. Underwood. Bounce pass inside. Sanders has been tough, and Sweeterman's got foul problems. Into the lane he goes. Spin move, left-handed shot. Just a bit hard. Rebound to Cody Depwig. Yeah, and a good take there once again by Alex Sanders. Good footwork. Goes to his left hand. Just a little hard. Back to the Coldwater Cavaliers. Lockberger picked it up, looking for somebody to throw it to. As the Rams went back man-to-man. -man. Changed things up again. Maybe because two three-point shooters, Pot Cotter and Schwederman, came in. Blockburger comes off a screen by Schwederman. And lost it heading to the rim. Kendall comes up with it. Rams trying to push the pace. Yeah, the Cavs gone cold a little bit on the offensive end. Last three possessions haven't been able to really find a good shot. Turnover there. Pass now. inside. Oh, a better pass would have had a layup. Kind of got away from Thompson. Here's a pass ahead. Potcotter goes to the rim and scores. Miles Potcotter has points four and five. Unfortunate for the Rams. The pass just went awry because he had a chance to score inside. Underwood. Hands off to Dameron, and they reset. Sanders works to the lane again. Left-handed shot. Rebound comes to Schreyer. Pass inside, and they left Cody Deathwig all alone. Cody's first basket of the game. And he goes back to 13. Yeah, Schwederman, great pass there to his fellow big man. Easy layup for the Cavaliers. Extend that lead back to 13. Underwood pull up jumper, rebound to Potcotter. Cavs trying to push the pace a little bit here in the last 90 seconds. Back cut Blockberger. Gets his own rebound, but it's taken away from him by Kendall. Owen Kunk waiting at the scores table if he can get in. Rams would love to get this under double figures again before the half. Thompson. Sanders, where he's been very effective. Spin move on Schwederman. Damron. And, boy, big scramble, but I think. I think one of the Rams was standing out of bounds trying to make a play on the ball right there. and ends up being Cavalier basketball. And Schwederman's done a good job. The last two possessions against Alexander's not keeping his hands up, just making it difficult for Sanders to make a shot. And ball goes back to the Cavaliers. Schwederman's out now, so in this last minute, he doesn't pick up foul number three. On top, it goes to Layfeld. Layfeld goes to the rim, gets a block from behind. And Sanders having quite a half doing just about everything. Here he goes to the rim again. Penetration dribble. Listen, pot cotter rebounds. Cavs will get last shot. Coach Fisher says, I want the last one here of this half. His team is up 13. They fell. Trying to get off a screen. Schreyer on a flare. He goes to the rim and missed. Tip. Good. Tip in. We'll go to Owen Kunk. And Owen Kunk becomes a double figure scorer. His team will take a 15 to or 15 point lead. 32 17 and a half. You're watching high school basketball WOSN. We're back in the palace here at Coldwater. Our scoreboard is brought to you by the Kenton Moose Family Center. The Kenton Moose in Hart is Hardin County's home for great food, fellowship, and friends. That's the Kenton Moose 428 in Kenton. Online at kentonmoose428.com. 
Josiah, we'll see if the Rams have a run in them yet. They've got 10 points from Alex Sanders. They've had quarter scores 11 and 6. Coldwater, quarter scores rolled 18 and 14, led by Owen Kunk and his 10. Yeah, Alex Sanders has been the offense for this Rams team so far. Every time he's touched the ball, it's been going towards the rim, attacking this team. You know, was able to get two fouls on Schwederman there, but and for this Coldwater team, been very aggressive also, attacking the rim as a, a oop there for Schwederman as he catches it and gets fouled. Well, the Rams went 2-3 zones. They ran a back screen lob. The pass is a little bit off, but Schwederman is going to get to go to the free throw line. I'm trying to figure the foul was on. They did not put it on the scoreboard yet. Sanders, Alex gets his first foul. Schwederman goes to the free throw line. He's a 79% free throw shooter on the season. And the left-hander makes the first one. That is point six for him tonight. Battled some foul trouble. And that one goes off back of the rim, but it bounces out to him. He lobs the ball inside. And back up for a layup will be Owen Kunk, who's got 12 in the game. And all of a sudden, it's an 18-point lead on the Kenton Moose scoreboard. And a good trap here by the Cavaliers. Ball comes to Alex Sanders, who goes to the rim and scores. Alex got 12. Cuff a little bit gimpy on the leg there. Hope he's all right. And there's a lob inside. He was late getting back with that injury, and Kunk gets a basket for 14 now. Yeah, big game here so far for Kunk. 14 points. Ten of those came in the first quarter, or first half, I'm sorry. He just got his hand on that pass, too, with those long arms playing the top of that half-court trap. Just giving the Rams some problems. Alex Sanders, as they go man-to-man, -man, and then they hand off that time to Thompson. And this is Kendall to Sanders again. This is Bo Sanders. And Kendall heads baseline, has to pull up. Here's a three that's going to go up from Underwood. And the scramble for the rebound, it goes off of Brady Layfeld and will stay with the Rams. A nice set there, run by the Rams. As we saw him try to drive to the right and come back to Underwood. Found himself open, but unable to knock down the three. Saturday night non-conference basketball, lob inside. Sanders kicks it back out. Kendall gets a three look. That goes back to the rim. Good high rebound, however. That's a three. That one goes. That was Andrew Kendall. He's got six now in the game. A pair of three-point field goals for him. He's got 23 of those on the season. And back to the 2-3 zone again. Go to Rams. Kunk. Down in the corner to Schwederman. Cavs got five on the perimeter, then they flash a post player. Potcotter. Here's Layfield into the seam of the zone, steps through it. Big scramble for the rebound, Sanders gets it. He makes a nice pass to ahead to Kendall, but doesn't go. Here's Schwederman for three. Rebound comes down to Underwood. And USV deciding to slow it down a little bit. Tried to push on the last possession, but turned the ball over. Now they're back into their set. Trying to get ball down into Alex Sanders, which they do. He tried to make a bounce pass through traffic that doesn't go. That three ball I gave a moment ago to Andrew Kendall. The scoreboard uh, put it up incorrectly. They changed it to Hunter Damron. So both Hunter and Andrew and Kendall have a made three-point field goal in the game. Comes a little trap out of there, 2-3. Pass inside, Kunk. This will be blocked. Oh, this will be Layfeld for three. And Brady Layfeld rattles in his first three-point field goal of the game. He's got seven points in the game, and it goes to 18. Yeah, quick passing there by the Cavs to find Layfeld, who's able to knock down the three. Underwood trying to step through traffic and travel did Maddox under pressure. You can visit our website, WSN.TV, for score, standings, access to our broadcast schedule, and the WSN apps.
all on our website, WSN.TV, where I was at halftime checking scores. Bachberger, Layfeld on the wing. Sweeterman flashes high post. Another three-pointer. That one is short. Layfeld hustles after his own rebound, though. This is Kunk inside, keeps the ball high. Backs down, spins into the lane. And good rebound that time to Bo Saunders. Yeah, good move there by Kunk. A little bit of double move, attacks. And then gets a foul on the other end. Alex Sanders was trying to get to the rim. Owen Kunk picks up his second foul. This brings Caden Lowry into the basketball game. Caden wears number uh, 13. He is a freshman, goes 5'9 for Coach Ray White. And to the baseline, taken out of bounds is Maddox Underwood. Alex Sanders. Hunter Damron to the corner it goes. Pass the lane, it's blocked inside. Schwederman and Potcott are both there on the power move by Bo Saunders. Yeah, he wanted to pull up and couldn't. Blockberger into the lane. And Blockberger for three. That's his first one of the, of the evening. He's got seven points in the game. Underwood. Sanders. Pass inside. Bo Sanders. Again, traffic. Too much size. Can't get it to go. Yeah, USB's trying to get it down the post, but Coldwater so long. Schwederman to the rim and gets called for a charge. Luke Schwederman picks up foul number three as he runs over a couple of Rams. And with 3.32 to go here in the quarter, it's 43-22 on the Kent Moose scoreboard. Will Berry comes into the basketball game. Schwederman was always going to stay in, but now he will come out as uh, Cody Depwig enters at his place. Twenty-one point lead, Cavaliers. Is that one-two-two trap has been such a problem. Underwood gets a three. It's a bit hard. Barry goes high for the rebound and strongly grabs it. Layfeld to the rim. Layfeld under traffic, and I think Alex Sanders knocked it out of bounds. Yeah, second block on the night there for Alex Sanders. As we see, both teams continue to be aggressive, trying to attack that rim. Both teams have hit a couple threes on the night, but Blockberger deep three. Rebound into Potcotter's hand. Miles has uh, eight in the game now, or seven in the game, excuse me. To the rim, Oh Sanders finishes inside. Who had a basket in the opening quarter and now one in quarter three. He's got four points, cuts the lead to 21. Yeah, strong take there by Bo. Able to catch the ball and goes right to the rim, make the easy layup. Blockberger pass inside. This is Leifeld. He looks at three. Pretty Leifeld has 10 points in the game now on back to back three point field goals. Makes it a doubled up score at 48 24. Underwood penetrates, his shot muscles up. Strong rebound by Barry, he's got a couple of those in this quarter. Yeah, Barry coming in off the bench and cleaning up that defensive glass for this Cavaliers team. Pretty Layfield averages five a game in double figures with 10, thanks to those back-to-back three-point field goals. Blockberger, this is Barry on the baseline. And Blockberger again. Bounce pass inside Barry, and he gets called for double dribble, which might be a good thing because he's probably going to get called for charge if he didn't. Yeah, Sanders was right there waiting to take that charge, but officials call the double dribble first, and the ball goes back to the Rams. Caleb Schreyer will enter the basketball game with 1.48 to go here in quarter number three. It's Alex Sanders. 12 in the game for him. Nice pass ahead. Underwood shot goes in. Maddox now has four points. Got bumped and still scored. A good strong take there, as you said. Got a little bit of contact, but was able to still finish. Two points for the Rams. Bounce pass inside. Potcotter. 
This is Pot Cotter, excuse me. 23 is Depwig who has the basketball now. Blockberger. It's the Rams switching defense. And the Cavaliers continue to be patient on this set here as we got a foul on top by the Rams. That goes to Caden Lowry, who entered the game just a moment ago. His first, just the team's second here in the quarter. Peyton Seitz winner of the basketball game for Coldwater. He wears number 14, and Blackburger will get a break. Peyton Seitz, 6'1", senior. This is a couple points a game. Trying to post up Barry inside, but he's battling hard with Lowry. There he is again, trying to post up, and he will get called for an offensive foul. Good defensive possession that time by Caden Lowry. Yeah, Caden Lowry a little undersized there in the post, but sets his feet, draws the contact, and ball goes back to the Rams. Continues to work at it. Sanders passes inside and right to the rim and finishing inside is Maddox Underwood. He's got six, good pass from Sanders to attack the press. 20 point, 20 point lead for the Cavaliers as they play last shot of quarter three. And the Rams done that a couple of times. Find that man in the middle and attacks the rim right away. Scored a couple of buckets tonight. Kunk way out front with the basketball and that's stolen by Sanders. Good defensive play by Alex. Pull up three from him, short, rebound Barry. And the length of the court throw goes off the backboard, but after three, the Cavaliers 48, the Rams 28, you're watching high school basketball, WOSN. My scoreboard sponsor is the Kent Moose Family Center. The Kent Moose is Hardin County's home for great food, fellowship, and friends. That's the Kent Moose 428 in Kenton. Online at KentMoose428.com. Mark Shine, Josiah Stober. Josiah, quarter scores for Upper Sur Valley, 11-6 and 11 for 28 for the Coldwater Cavaliers. And they have 18, 14, and 16 for their quarter scores. Yeah, as we see Coldwater coming out of this quarter, you know, getting a couple more guys, as you said, a hard-fought game last night against Versailles going into double overtime. So Coach Fisher getting quite a few guys there off his bench into this game. We see Schwederman coming back in, who has those three fouls. Now be here to start the fourth quarter. It's Maddox Underwood, Maddox got six in the game. Damron tries to go baseline. Underwood gets a three look. That hits the front rim and bounces in. He's got 25 of those three-point field goals on the season. Now has nine points tonight. Yeah, we've seen that play a couple times tonight for Maddox Underwood, and that time he was able to connect. Shot was a little bit flat, but he got a kind roll thanks to the soft touch of his off his shooting hand. Pass down inside. Kick out. This will be Schreyer from the corner. Caleb Schreyer now has five points in the game. This catches a nice pass and scores. And Coldwater still in that 1-2-2. Two, two. We've seen USV break it, get into that middle there and draw some contact. We'll see two free throws coming up for the Rams. They've had some success going to Alex Sanders, then he finding a teammate. That time he found Underwood. Foul goes to Cody Depwig, his first. Underwood's a 71% free throw shooter. Appreciate both coaches getting stats to us this week. And Underwood, the free throw goes off the back of the rim. Averages 15.6 points per game and five rebounds. He's got nine tonight, looking at 10 if he can drop this one. That one also goes off the back of the rim and comes to Owen Kunk. Little pressure from the Rams. This left-handed jumper is going to go out of the corner by Peyton Seitz. Rebound to Underwood. Lobs it ahead. Sanders, he catches in traffic and scores with a left hand. He's got 14 now. That was pretty. Yeah, just a smart play there. Goes up really quick. Doesn't allow Coldwater to get back. 
And knocks down the two for the Rams. A little 2-2-1 zone press. Schrader gets through it. And they will reset with Schrader way on top. Layfeld heads to the score, is able to check in. Owen Kunk, who's had a nice basketball game this evening. Here's a lob pass inside. Schreyer gets a three look. And the rebound into the hands of Caden Lowry. Lowry will push the pressure. Sanders lost it, but it goes back to Lowry. And boy, a little wild action. He <laughs> lost it and ends up into the hands of Cody Depwig. Bounce pass inside and return pass. That was really well done. Schreyer went right to the rim, caught the pass and return pass and scored. He's got seven in the game now. Yeah, beautiful play there by Colwater. A little give and go. Was able to make the easy layup there and extend this lead back to 20. Poked into the backcourt by Owen Kunk. Had to be tracked down by Alex Sanders there. Underwood, pull up jumper. A lot of the rim, but won't fall. And Caleb Schreyer has the rebound. Schwederman went to the rim, was taken away from him by Alex Sanders. Alex into the corner. Underwood gets another three look. And Schwederman knocked it out of bounds. And with that, we are going to get a cold water time, or excuse me, a upper center valley timeout. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. We're back here at the Palace, Josiah. We're looking at this uh, cold water basketball team here, and uh, they are. Uh, but the 6 and uh, 0 in conference play. They're 13 and 3 overall. They've got conference games yet at Marion Local next Friday. And then the huge matchup, if they can get by that one, they have Dolphin St. John's here in this building on the 16th before going to a good Minster team on the 23rd. So a challenge ahead of them, but Coldwater could win this league. Yeah, absolutely. And as you said, the big one's really that St. John's game. And we all have seen Cam Elwer and his ability. So, you know, looking forward to that game. I imagine that will probably be broadcasted on WSN. It'll be, a big, it'll, it'll be a big game for the MAC. It certainly will. And that will be here in Coldwater. The Rams lob it out top. The Rams have used three timeouts in this one. And they trail by 20 with five minutes to go in the fourth. Maddox Underwood with the basketball. Will pull up jumper Damron back to the rim. Bo Sanders was fighting for the rebound, but. Will Berry just seems to always get his hands on the basketball at that end of the floor. Yeah, I really enjoyed watching him play tonight. Just goes to the rim every time a shot goes up, cleans up that defensive glass as he finds the paint now and goes there up for two. He does. He, it's a nice catch and score inside. Will Berry's going to score. Let's see if it counts. It does count. We're going to get a rebound foul against Upper Soda Valley. Berry's got. Uh, a couple of points in the game. Now the foul will be assessed to Caden Lowry. Blockberg gets a three out of the corner on the inbounds play. There's Barry going for the rebound. I think he might be called with a foul this time as he was a little too aggressive going to the rim. Barry's got three fouls now, four points, and a bunch of rebounds this evening. Maddox Underwood. Alex Sanders has had a good basketball game tonight. Bo Sanders, jumper. Nope, Blockberger rebounds backside. The lob pass ahead. They fell with this basketball, and he gets it stripped away from him. And Alex Sanders once again gets his hand on the ball. Alex passed inside. That was a really pretty pass. Ends up in Bo Sanders' hand. Bo's got six in the game. Yeah, we've seen that a couple of times tonight. Alex Sanders making that final pass, finding a teammate wide open. Bo Sanders was able to catch it and go right up for the two. It's a 20-point lead for the Cavaliers as they go inside. That basket goes to Owen Kunk. He's got 16, looking at 17. 
they assess the foul to on that pass inside. That foul goes to Bo Sanders. Bo's got three now. And Owen Kunk, who's a 60% free throw shooter, now has 17 points in the game, and he leads all scorers. 58-35 in favor of the Cavaliers. Lowry. Here's Alex Sanders. Step back jumper, Alex from 17. Nope. Rebound, however, inside. Here's Maddox Underwood. Sanders gets a three look. That one banks it. He's got 17 in the game, tying Owen Kunk for leadership tonight. The bank must still be open here in Coldwater. Yeah, it is. 17 points, 10 in the opening half, 7 in this half for Alex Sanders. Will Berry looks, finds a teammate on top of the circle. That's Owen Kunk trying to get it downside to Sweeterman. Blockberger on the backside, and that was a good pass. And Caitlin Blockberger now has nine. Cowboys are shared the ball tonight. Yeah, if you look at their scoring, you know, have seven players have scored four tonight on the night for the Cavaliers. So it's really been a good offensive output for this. Alex Cavs Sanders team. goes to the rim and he will finish. He's got 19. We're going to get a little break as we get some new players into the game. Number 24 is Landon Kanapke. Number 32 is Caden Obringer. Caleb Schreyer came back into the basketball game. And they will be out there with Will Berry and Peyton Seitz. 60-40 with 2.40 to go in this one. Here comes a trap at half court. Schreyer looks. He eventually finds Peyton Seitz. Obringer in the corner. And on top to Kanapke. Pass inside, and that ends up in Will Berry's hands. He's got six now. Another unselfish pass from the Cavaliers, 62-40. Kenton Moose scoreboard. Yeah, good pass there by Seitz to his teammate Barry. Down low, and Barry goes straight up for the easy two. That was off the back of the rim for Sanders. And trying to get loose, headed to the rim, and was uh, Kenton Schreyer. He gets fouled by Sanders. We talked a little bit about the uh, first place role of the uh, Coldwater Cavaliers. Upper Center Valley is 5-0 and in the Northwest Central Conference because they defeated Ridgemont by a pair. They still have uh, some games left. They have Ridgedale at home this Wednesday. On Friday the 9th, they get Harden Northern at home. And then they have North Baltimore at USV on the 16th. And finish up the season on the 23rd with Corey Roston home. So four league games at home coming up for the Rams. And... They have a half a game lead right now over the Ridgemont Gophers. That foul was to Sanders. Bo now has four fouls, and the free throw line goes Barry. And Will Barry has seven points in the game. That a bit short, rebound comes to Bo Sanders. This is Lowry. Tied on the floor, good hustle play, Peyton Seitz, and he ends up with the basketball for his team, to Obringer, and then to Caleb Schreyer. 90 seconds to go. Peyton Seitz, Obringer, Kanapke, and he's winging around. Seitz is going to get a three, but Barry once again rebounds on the backside, and he will use his strength to go right to the rim. Gets yet another rebound, goes back up again. That one's short, and eventually comes into the hands of Carter Oglesby. Good effort by Barry. Yeah. Unofficially, I imagine he's got at least double-digit rebounds. Many times we've called his name tonight, done a great job on the glass. Bo Sanders misses that shot. Obringer rebounds. We're under a minute to go. Upper Soda Valley will play in the Wapak Kaneda D Division IV tournament. So of course, it's a week from Sunday. Coldwater in that very difficult Lima Senior Division III tournament. 
And that district is flat out loaded with good basketball teams. Cavaliers playing a little pitch and catch to wrap this one up. JV game tonight was won by Coldwater, 47-35, and the Cavaliers are going to win the varsity game, 63-40. to As they're playing pitch and catch out front. And that's how this one will come to an end. The Coldwater Cavaliers, 63 over the, Van, the uh, Upper Soda Valley Rams, who had 40 this evening. Upper Soda Valley had quarter scores of 11, 6, 11, and 12. And they were led in scoring, I think, by uh, Alex Sanders with 19. Cavaliers quarter scores 18, 14, 16, and 15 for their 63. They were led by Owen Kunk with 17. And, but a lot of good balance for the, for the Coldwater Cavaliers tonight. Yeah, just a well-rounded performance for this Coldwater Cavaliers team. We weren't sure after that big game last night how they were going to come back and respond, and they responded as a team. You know, as you said, moving the ball, found the open teammates, knocked down some big shots. You know, good game overall for this Cavaliers team as they continue to have a great season so far. They are. Upper Soda Valley will drop to 10-6 and six on the season. They remain 5-0 and oh in the Northwest Central Conference. Well, Coldwater, they go up to 14-3, and three, and they will stay, of course, at 6-0 and oh in the Midwest Athletic Conference. Well, thank you, athletic director here. That would be Mr. Eric Goodwin. Got on the email with him this week. Got everything all set up. I think our scoreboard sponsor tonight, tonight that would be the Kenton Moose. Jacob O'Neill did all the technical work, camera work, and all that. He will take this back to the station on Bayview Road and edit it all together. It all comes down to a Coldwater Cavalier 63-40 victory over the Upper Valley Rams. You've been watching high school basketball on WOSN.